guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make these cute little garden pets. If you want to know how to make them, stick around. I'll show you how. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to start with some outdoor paint. I'm taking a terracotta pot and two saucers and two little doll heads and I'm just going to paint them green. Just go around the sides of these and then you're going to just paint the back of the saucer only. Don't paint the inside. Then go ahead and paint your little doll heads. I'm just putting mine on a little wire to kind of hold them in place. Next, we're going to take the pink paint. We're going to paint the inside and get it all the way around the edge and do the edges as well. Then we're going to take a little pencil and we're just going to come down the front and draw a little belly for our little frog. And I'm just going to paint it with some green paint. And this is all outdoor paint. I'll give you the links for all these below. Just kind of get it straight there. And I'm not going to, I'm kind of going to rush through the painting part because everybody kind of knows how to paint. So I'm just showing you how I'm putting this together. Then I'm going to go all the way around the edge. And you're going to have to use about, you're going to have to do about three coats on each of these. So um, just so you know in advance, the, the paint is a little bit thin for the outdoor paint, but it does, it does do good after you paint about three coats. Then you need to paint the bottom of the little doll heads because they are going to show. Next, I'm taking a piece of craft foam and I'm just going to cut a little tongue out of it. And if you just curve the craft foam instead of your scissors, it'll make a nice curved edge on it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and tape my balls off. I'm just going to go right through the middle of them. And this is going to be the eye. So the, the flat part of the ball is on the bottom right now. And you just go around there, tape that off on both of them. Just make sure that they both are even when you're doing this because your eyes are going to be right next to each other and it will show if they're not. Next, I'm going to take a little Sharpie, and I'm just going to do a circle around those right up next to the tape. Just going to draw right against the edge of that tape. Okay, then we're going to paint the front part of those with the white paint and we're going to put our tape back on those and we're going to put it right over the black, um, the black line that we just did. So you're just going to go right up over the top edge of that black line and tape that back in place because we want that line to still show after we paint our white paint. Our white paint. And then you're just going to paint it white, and you're going to have to do probably three coats on these as well. Now, this paint dries pretty fast, so you can do your coats pretty fast. If you're not putting this outside, you can just paint this with a regular paint, acrylic, or a chalk paint, or anything like that. Next, I'm going to take my pot, and I'm going to do some little dots on it. I'm just taking a little sponge circle brush, and I'm just putting it into the paint, and then dabbing it on. Just load your brush each time, otherwise you'll have to come back over the edge of it like I have on a couple of these that I did. And just kind of randomly putting them on. Alright, going to let that dry and then we're going to take the eyes and just put a little U shape and color that in with the Sharpie. You can color it in with a paint with paint if you want to, but the Sharpie worked really well. You just want to make sure that you get both of your eyes pretty even. Okay, next we're going to start assembling. We're going to take the pink um, pot and put it on top and just use some E6000 glue. I don't know about you, but my glue, after I've had it for a while, it has a hard time coming out of the tube. So, but you do want to use E6000 glue if you're planning on putting this outside. If not, you can use hot glue. And then we're going to go ahead and take our um, tongue and we're going to fold it in half, kind of give it a little bit of dimension there. And then we're going to glue it in as well, just hanging over the edge a little bit. And then we're going to come back in and put our green saucer on top. And you want to leave the opening where the tongue is. 
just go all the way halfway um, to the where the tongue is leave an opening there and then go ahead and glue that on just make sure that you get this pretty straight next we're going to take the little eyes and glue those together just a little bit of glue on each side and let that dry and then we're going to attach it to the very top of that um, saucer and we're going to tilt the eyes back just a little bit and we're using the E6000 glue on this as well. Again, if you're not putting this outside, you can just use hot glue. Just kind of tilt them back a little bit and then go ahead and take a toothpick and put it in front just to kind of keep them from rolling while that dries. Okay, cute little frog. Turned out pretty cute. Okay, next up, we're going to do the ladybug. We're going to take regular terracotta pot and then the round doll head as well. And we're just going to paint them with the red paint. And again, you're going to probably use three coats, but they dry real fast between the coats. Just make sure you go around the pot, not up and down. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and paint the little doll head red. You're just going to paint the ball part of it. You don't have to paint the bottom part of it. Okay, then for the wings, we're just going to assemble them. If you have a cutting machine, you can cut out the SVG file. I've included it below. We're just going to kind of sandwich the red pieces, two of the red pieces around the black piece. If you do not have a cutting machine, you can still cut these out. And then you can put the dots on it, just like I did on the frog with the white paint. Just use a round sponge brush and just dot them on there. It'll look just as good, I promise you. And I, and I cut these out of craft foam. Okay, next we're just going to take the ball and we are going to, um, the flat parts on the bottom, we're just going to do like a little heart shape so that we can paint the back part of it black and then leave the front red part for the face. Just, it's just going to be like a little, like you drew a little heart. And then we're going to take our um, pot and we're just going to kind of look, put a little design on the front. Kind of like his spreading his wings. So we're just going to kind of make a little triangle along the front. And then we're going to come back in here and paint these. Now I'm going to paint these with a black um, chalk paint. I'm going to put these on my patio. I'm not putting them out in the, in the elements. So if you are going to put them out in the elements, you probably do want to use the um, patio paint on this. Just get that painted on the back part. And then leave the front part for the face. And it's easy if you just put it on like a little stick or a wire. And on the black chalk paint, you really only have to do one coat. It, it covers it really well. And then we're going to go ahead and take the front part. And we're going to paint it in as well. These are all pretty easy projects. It's just a lot of painting. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to do like we did the frog. And we're going to put some little dots on it. And I'm just using like a little half inch sponge brush to do this. But if you load it each time, you won't have to go back over the paint twice. And I'm just kind of randomly putting them on. You can do it however you want to. Okay, next I'm going to do his eyes. I'm taking a 15 millimeter half bead, a half wooden bead, and I'm just painting them white. Now these did kind of bug out a little bit. They were kind of, they stuck out a little bit, so you don't quite have to use as big of a bead as I used. Then we're going to take his head and we're going to cut, we're going to drill two holes into the top of his head to put his little antennas. Just kind of figure out exactly where you want them and then just take a real small drill bit and then just drill those out. And then I'm going to come back in and put a little paint over the top where I drilled those out. Okay, then on the antennas, I'm just wrapping them around the wire around the pencil twice, just to kind of give it a little definition on the end, and then curving it, and then cutting them off. So you can put them, you can make them how 
long or short you want to. And then just stick them right down that hole. Now I'm going to go and paint mine with a matte black um, spray paint. If you can get black wire, you can skip that step. Okay, on the eyes, I actually put my little black dots on the eyes and the video was off. But what I did is I just punched the holes and I decided that after I finished my little ladybug, they were too small. So I put about a, um, a 3 8 inch circle on there instead. These were a little bit small. They were, made, they were they just stuck out too much. And if you have a cutting machine, I've included the file for the, for the eyes. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to attach those right to the face. Just put them on each side and leave them to dry. Next, I'm going to go ahead and attach my antennas. Again, I painted those black. And I'm just putting a little um, E6000 glue on the tips of them and then just putting them in inside those holes. Okay, next I'm going to take a cork and I'm going to cut it at a 75 degree angle, just a little sliver off the bottom of that cork. And I'm going to use that for her little neck. It kind of helps lift her head up off the body a little bit. Then I'm going to come back in with some E6000 glue and I'm just going to glue that down. And I'm going to use a little hot glue too, just to hold it in place while that glue dries. Since her head is going to be setting at a tilt, you want to go ahead and use some hot glue. Otherwise, she will the head will slide while it's trying to dry. And then now I got that put together, I'm going to come back in. I'm just going to paint that cork red right on her body. And then we're going to go ahead and take a little bow and tie it into um, some ribbon and tie it into a bow. And I'm just going to attach that right to the front. And I'm going to attach it to the clay pot, not to the cork. And then we're going to go ahead and attach your wings. And we're just kind of, kind of tilt, lean, leaning them out a little bit. And then just gluing those out. Now I'm going to put a little E6000 glue along the back. And then I'm going to put some hot glue on the wing itself just to hold it in place until it dries. All right, she was pretty easy. Okay, next we're going to do the little honeybee, and I'm going to take the same size pot I did for the ladybug, and I'm going to paint it yellow, and I'm going to paint one of the little doll heads yellow as well. And again, I'll give you the links for all the paint. Next, I'm going to take some craft foam, and I'm put using craft foam around here to put the little um, lines around the bee because I didn't think I could get it straight enough with the hot with the paint, and this worked out really well. So I'm just taking some quarter inch strips. Of, cra of black craft foam and I'm wrapping it around and I just cut these with a um, paper cutter and we're going to do um, four lines all the way around now on this one here I'm using hot glue pretty much only on this I didn't use any E6000 glue because I did put this inside, but if you are going to have this outside, you probably want to put some E6000 glue on there as well. If you're putting it on a patio that's covered, you can just use hot glue. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and build the wings. And again, if you have a cutting machine, I've included the SVG file for these. If not, you can cut them out by hand, but you're going to put the yellow over the top of the black so that the black kind of gives an outline around the yellow. Okay, next I'm going to put two little dots right in the center, and that's where I'm going to put his little antennas. And you can do this step later after you paint if you want to, but I'm just drilling two small little holes in there to put the wires in for his antennas. Now his antennas are going to be right between his eyes. So you just take your wire, stick it in that hole, and kind of curve it out, get it to the length that you want it. 
And then I'm going to paint these with some Krylon Fusion paint in matte black before I put the little um, pom-pom balls on them. Okay, then go ahead and take the face, and we're going to do the same thing we did as the ladybug. We're just going to draw a little heart around the face. And then we're going to paint the back part of it black. Okay, next I'm going to take a cork. Again, I'm going to cut it at a 75 degree angle just to kind of give it a little neck for the little bee. And I'm just going to glue that on with some hot glue. And then I'm going to paint the cork yellow. And then go ahead and attach the eyes to the front. And these eyes actually were a lot cuter than the ladybug eyes. I wish I had put these eyes on my ladybug. So the ladybug's eyes do stick out a little bit too far. And then I'm just going to attach that to the to the body. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did with the ladybug. I'm going to attach a little bow to the front part. And I'm sorry that y'all are having to see my poison ivy on my arm. Go ahead and attach the little wings to the back. And just kind of angle them down and then just glue those on. And then the easier way to put the second wing on is just to turn it to the back and then just duplicate the angle. And then we're going to go ahead and attach his little antennas. Just glue them, put a little hot glue in the, in the tip of it and go ahead and put them into those holes. And if you're going to put these outside in the elements, you might want to spray paint them with a, a clear sealer before you do if you use the chalk paint at all. Go ahead and put the little pom-poms on his little antennas. And that was pretty easy. There you have it. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. If you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.